The following is a paid advertisement. The views expressed are the sole responsibility of the advertiser. I'm attorney Justin Carr. Coming up just ahead on you have real estate. The market, I feel, shifting just a little bit. And what is going on with these mortgage interest rates? Also, a great investment opportunity for you. It's all just ahead. It's you have real estate. Have you been threatened by the IRS? You are not helpless. You have the power to fight wage garnishments and fight levies on your accounts. I'm Justin Clark. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your financial life. You Have Real Estate is proudly sponsored by Renewal by Anderson, your full-service window and door replacement company. Learn more at rbafla.com. Welcome to You Have Real Estate, brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. I am your host, Justin Clark. A wonderful show ahead for you today, but first, the opening statement. You know, I'm seeing a little bit of a shift in the real estate market here in Florida. I think it's shifting towards the buyers a little bit. I think the numbers will prove my point. What does that mean for you? Also, is this directly related to the mortgage rates going up? We'll ask Dallas Lehman about that as well. And we will answer all of your questions by asking real questions. Every weekend here on the program, we ask real questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. Kick it off today, our good friend, pickleball buddy, Real estate agent to the stars, Holly Kroll is here. Hello, Holly. How Hello, are you? Hello, good. I haven't seen you on the pickleball court lately because you've been out selling real estate, I yes, guess. Yes, yes. We work weekends, you know, <laughs> so it's not always so easy to be out there. I, I talked a little bit about the shifting of the market, and, and we really haven't made that announcement on this program as of yet. We've been talking about what a great market it is, and I still think it's a wonderful real estate market, but I feel something a little bit different. You have a lot of listings out there. We, two years ago, we would sit on the show and talk about one listing, 25, 30, 70 offers within a couple of days. What does it feel like now? Now it's starting to feel a lot like the way it used to be, a, a more normal market. It's definitely, we've, we've really increased inventory. It really has shifted more towards buyers, like you said. And um, so, I mean, really still a good time to buy because yeah. now buyers have a lot more options. Why are we seeing so few buyers right now? You know, I do believe it's interest rate related. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know if these buyers are how much they're really paying attention to, you know, what the Fed says about rates. And <clears throat> I do believe that there's a big belief out there that there is going to be uh, price drops. And again, Dallas or interest rate drops. Dallas yeah. can, um, you know, give us some more detail about that. But I, I that's what I think is happening right yeah, now. Yeah, the numbers really don't lie. Aura does a great job of letting us know what's going on in the market. What are the numbers telling you that have been released by Aura? So I just looked at the May report um, from Aura, and from last year to this year, we've actually doubled the amount of active listings. So uh, that is a, quite a big difference. It's still a lower inventory than normal. We're in about three and a half months mm -hmm. versus they say a six month supply is a balanced market. So we're still, you know, we still have an active market. It's just not as uh, crazy as it was a year ago. Yeah, I'd like to see what's on the market right now. I'd like for you to see at home what is going on right now in this market and what it costs you to buy that dream home. And let's start here in Sanford. You do a lot of work in Seminole County, as I know. Stargazer Terrace, tell me about this one. Oh, I'd love to tell you about Stargazer. It's priced at 638.5. It's completely turnkey. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath with a loft in a gated community. We have a lot of those in West Sanford, 2,800 square feet. It's situated on a third acre pond view lot. It's got gorgeous high two story ceilings as you walk in the door. So it feels very like bright and open when you walk in. The master bedroom is on the first floor. The kitchen and baths have all been renovated. So, I mean, this house is really ready to go. They also did a nice extension on the lanai. I've been out there on the lanai. You can just go out and sit out there and, you know, look at the pond and watch the birds and, you know, the, the wildlife out there. And then the other great thing about this house is that all the major maintenance items have recently been taken care of. They put in a uh, really high-end premium AC system. They, they've got a newer roof, a newer water heater. 
And one of the things they did is they actually had new insulation blown in just recently, and that's one of the things that mm. I think a lot of sellers forget about, yeah. and you get a lot of energy efficiency out of that. So Those AC bills can be a killer. If you'd like to see this property in Sanford, 407-205-0400. I will connect you directly with Holly. You can see it this weekend if you want. Maybe you want to make an offer. It's a great price on this house. And by the way, if you're thinking about selling your house, or even in the back of your mind, I don't necessarily trust Zillow and these other websites to figure out what your house is really worth, especially in a market that's been evolving as quickly as this one has been. Here's what I will do for you. If you would like to see what your house is truly worth, call the phone number on the screen, 407-205-0400. And look, we'll even show it off here on the program for you if you'd like. I will do that for you for free. Now, you spend a lot of time in Seminole County. This one's down in Orlando, 32801, a neighborhood or a zip code I know very well. Tell me about Daniels Avenue, Holly. Well, I was so excited to have a listing. I love my Seminole County. You know that. But to be in downtown Orlando reminds me of my younger days <laughs> and when I used to work in downtown Orlando. So it was very exciting to get this listing. 613 Daniels Ave, uh, listed at 1.125. Um, I mean, who wouldn't want to walk to work? You're right there in downtown. You can walk to see shows, dining, you know, all, all the great things that downtown Orlando has to offer. This home is situated on a tree-lined, brick-paved street. It's right down the road from Lake Davis, so it's really great. Um, you know, walk your dog, you know, have somewhere to take the kids. Uh, great, great location. It sits at 3,200 square feet. It is a four-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath, and three out of those four bedrooms are actually primary suites. Mm. So they have bathrooms attached to them. So really great for like generational living or if you've got to live in nanny. So very unique to this house. The That's what I need. Yeah, it I is. Live in nanny. Wow. Yes. <laughs> you, you just piqued my interest. <laughs> For, for, yeah, that would be very nice to have. So um, the house was actually built in 1991, but a complete renovation was done just a few years ago. There's a second story loft with a large balcony that overlooks the pool and patio, which is fabulous. And one other unique feature is it has a private gated entrance with mm -hmm. an oversized detached garage. So you don't really see that every day in downtown no, Orlando. Never, in fact. Wonderful home there. If you'd like to see this property again, 407-205-0400. Live in nanny negotiable on that price, though. <laughs> it's not included. What do you think, Holly? Where do we go the rest of this year in this market? I know we don't have a crystal ball, but what do you really see happening? Um, well, I really do think that there are buyers just kind of waiting, mm -hmm. you know, wait and see kind of approach. Um, I know there's also buyers that feel that the election plays into it, and certainly we do see you know, a little bit of up and downs in election years. But I, I really do think we're going to end up having a really nice third quarter. Derek Moser is going to kill me, but I, I want to go a little longer on this segment because I think a lot of us have been seeing a lot of posts on social media about starting in August, you've got to sign a contract with that buyer's agent, with your buyer's agent. What does this mean? A lot of us are seeing it. What is? What are these posts on social media? What does it really mean? Well, I mean, honestly, you should have been doing it in the first place. Yeah. It was Those agreements were already there from day one. Just agents weren't doing it. I mean, it is a hard conversation to have, especially if you're just meeting a buyer for the first time. Yeah. You know, hey, you're going to, you just met me, but I'm going to be the one, you know, working with you to buy your dream house. And, you know, you're, you're signing off on that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it protects both parties. It really explains sure. what we do for the buyer. A, a lot of People don't know what our role is. So it, it, honestly, it's going to be a really good thing. Yeah, I think so. I mean, a lot of buyers, agents really got screwed over during the pandemic because they were having to show people 100 properties before making an offer. And then the, the buyer could just go, you know, run off and not ever use them. So it is, it is kind of locking in both parties. Is this now a requirement as far as you know that the buyer has to sign this agreement? Absolutely. Okay. 100%. Yep, it will be required. Got it. Holly, great job as always. Tell JR I said hello as well, all right? I will. Here's what we're going to do, all right? Is this market shifting because the interest rates have gone up so much? And are the interest rates going to come back down? Dallas Lehman will be here to answer that question as you have real estate continues. Do you have allergies? Do your children have allergies? Well, at least you know in your home you are safe from allergies, right? No, 
you're not. The windows in your home can be giving allergies a, a major boost to, to your family, and this is very scary. Dan Brigman's here, Renewal by Anderson. You think when you're in your house, you're safe from all this outdoor stuff. <laughs> But you're not. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You think so, but what we've learned is as the season gets warmer and these allergies start to come out, what also happens is our AC runs a lot more, right? When your AC runs, remember, there's a return in the house. It's sucking air from somewhere. If you have broken seals in your window, that pollen, those allergenic, anything can be pulled through there, and the more that AC is running, the more those allergies that are coming into your home and therefore you're waking up stuffed up. Get your windows checked out. QR code is on the screen right now. You talk about AC though. When I hear my AC running, I immediately think my electricity bill, oh my gosh, it's that time of year where I have to pay a ton of money to my electricity bill. Windows though contribute to that bill as well. 100%, it's time to put a stop to the high energy bills. You have to, uh, and there's a lot of other reasons to make the investment, but that's one of the biggest ones. Uh, what'll happen is when you replace these windows, which equate to about 25% of the square foot of your home, that's a lot of glass. That's one whole wall of the house. All of that sun beating in, and on even the chilly days, uh, that cool, that heat that you have inside going out, uh, that will reduce your energy bill somewhere between the neighborhood of 20 and 30 percent. In most cases, will reduce that payment enough to pay for the windows themselves. Oh, I love it, Dan. Thank you. Great job as always. Do yourself a favor. Check out your windows today with Renewal by Anderson. Welcome back, and we are definitely seeing a shift in this real estate market. A lot fewer buyers out there, and the listings uh, that are on the market right now have gone up significantly. Why is that? I think most of us believe it's because of the uh, interest rates skyrocketing over the last year or two. Who better to ask that question than the president of You Have Mortgage, Dallas Lehman. Dallas, welcome back. How are you? Great to be here. Thanks, Justin. People aren't mad at you because you didn't do it, of course, <laughs> but the rates have, have gone up significantly. They really have. How do you think that has impacted this real estate market, if at all? Well, you know, I, I think it may have a little bit to do with it, but I've got to always say what I like to say, and we like to marry the home and date the rate. A lot of people are doing that. Some recent news that is really helping borrowers right now is the Hometown Heroes program just started up again. So that's a $100 million fund that was just opened on July 1st, which allows people to get up to $35,000 in assistance to buy that home with 5% down. So it's really a great opportunity. So I think you're gonna see a lot of those buyers get in the market. But to answer your question specifically, some people may be priced out of it, but here in Florida, it's still a very brisk closing state with loans. Many people are still moving here. We have people buying vacation seconds. We're in a good place right now. So I would tell people, you know, don't get fixated on rates. You know, we've talked about this so many times yeah. before. Historically speaking, the average since Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have been keeping rates is right about 7.85. 8% was the highest, you know, as an average, right. as an average of a historical average. So. You know, the rates shouldn't be too much of a factor, to be honest with you. What are we looking at right now, rate-wise? And I know it depends on 1530, all that, but what are, what are people saying? Very good, very good question. So let's look at it from, a, from an average. Let's go to a national average. And I would say right now, if you look at a range for a conventional 30 fixed year mortgage, you're looking anywhere at about 7.75, 7 7.5 to maybe 7.75%. Then if you want to look at an FHA loan, well, you're probably looking at maybe 6.5 to 6.875% range. So again, I've got to be honest with you, those are pretty good rates. Mm -hmm. And the honest facts are, if they buy and if they marry that home, and I know you were talking to Holly and some of the other realtors, they have good inventory out there, buy that home, get that home now, and then refinance later. Yeah, I know some uh, refi shops, like mortgage companies around here that, that really only focus on refi. So right now they're not doing anything. They literally wait around until the rates come down and they just refi everyone. It, it, it's something, like you can get into your dream home now and you just refinance it through Dallas as the rates go down. So it, I, I totally agree. You, you date the rate, you, you whatever. What did you say? I screwed Mar it up. Marry the home, date the rate. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, marry the home, date the rate. What do you see happening, Dallas? So over the course of the next, say, six months, the rest of this year, with interest rates in general? Well, if I had to bet, and of course my crystal ball is as good as just about anybody else's out there, but in my years of experience, what I would say is, as we get closer to November, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see, and this is based on maybe a little bit of politics, maybe a little bit on economics, the Fed, all those things weighing in, 
I might say that there might be a slight ease in rates. We might see a little bit of a reduction. Um, what the Fed has said is they want to stay right at where they are. They don't anticipate any rate changes, but that, to be honest with you, they haven't been right once this year. Yeah. So, um, quite honestly, but the bottom line is I think we may see a little bit of a climb, but I've got to be honest with you, don't wait on that. Don't wait on that. And especially uh, rents are climbing. Sure. I mean, people are spending an absorbent amount on rents, you know, on the national average or even a, a, a local average, just to say twenty to $30,000 a year that you're spending on rent, again, don't get caught in that trap. Don't throw your money away for a year and lose that twenty to $30,000. Let's Absolutely. go ahead and get you in a home. Yeah, and if you're going to start house hunting, obviously you need to get that pre-approval letter. You have to have that or no one's gonna waste their time showing you a house. And I, and I hear pre-approval, I, I hear a couple different terms. What are the difference in these pre-processes? Great point, Justin, because a lot of people ask that and they're, they're unclear, so let's be very clear on that subject. When you hear somebody say that they are pre-qualified, what that means is the person has gone and spoke to somebody in the finance industry, they may have gone to somebody like me or a bank or anybody out there, and they've given some basic information about their employment, their income, just some basic information. Mm -hmm. And that person is taking the time to say, okay, based on that very general information, you're pre-qualified for this home. Now, let's look at a pre-approval. And this is what realtors like to have. That means that an expert has gone through the process of getting their credit report, looking at their assets, their liabilities, their income, everything they have that qualifies their tax returns, all those factual documents, and then goes through a pre-approval process and said, okay, now you're pre-approved, this letter can be given to a realtor, and that realtor is now able to help you buy that home for that amount. Yeah. Beautiful, and uh, you know, working with someone like you who takes the time, it, it's not like working with a computer with you. And some of these mortgage companies, it's literally just uh, you know, fill out this online and don't even talk to anyone. That's not how you do it. No, I mean, uh, you really, you know, I junk in, junk out. I mean, you know, you can go on a mortgage calculator, you can go online, you can go with any of the big box lenders and, and all the rest of it. And quite honestly, I agree with you. You need somebody that's gonna take a good, strong look as an advocate for that person and say, I'm with you throughout this process. Our team is with you. Once you get this pre-approval, you can rest and know that that's there for you. And, you know, we are with you the whole process. Dallas would love to get you pre-approved today so you can start that house hunt this weekend. Dallas, great job as always. Thanks for stepping in today. Pleasure, Justin. Quick break. You have real estate continues. So happy to be joining you from a wonderful restaurant in Titusville, right on the Indian River, right next to the Space Coast as well. El Leoncito, happy to be joined by the owner and the GM, Michael Sergio. Thanks for having us out, guys. The location here, if, if you're coming over here to, to the beach to watch a, a launch, anything, this is the place to go. How would you describe this location? Uh, best spot to watch a NASA launch. Uh, we have packed thousands of people across the street. You wow. can't get a better view than here. Wow. And in multiple locations as yes. well? Oh, yes. We have Vieira and Coco, which is in Chaparral. That's our sister restaurant. And Eliancito and Vieira. The history of this restaurant since 1977 is something to really behold. You've been a big part of that history as well, Sergio. Yes. How long have you been here? 40 years. 40, 40 years with this yep. family. It's uh, amazing to see. Now, the food that you have, this is really, really, I, I don't know, upscale. The, the food quality is second to none here. Everything is fresh. Tell me about the food. All I can say, the food is very good. Not only that one. There's a lot of plates in there. There's La Tejana, Ropa Vieja, yeah. Stay Tacos, Carne Asada. Everything is mm. delicious. And Michael, the drinks, award winning. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Florida Today voted our house margarita best in Brevard, and we got mojitos, a great selection of draft beer, you can't go wrong with any of I cannot wait to eat and drink more food, are you Absolutely. ready? Absolutely, and then watch the launch. Keep up the great work, <laughs> then watch the launch. Do yourself a favor, come check out El Leoncito today, you will not be disappointed. Here we are on an actual job site with Justin and Corey, Universal Roof and Contracting. A lot of roofing companies literally don't even come out from beginning to end. <laughs> You're here literally from beginning to end. Yeah, from the first appointment, you know, this is a big decision. It's a big investment and it's a lot to think about. So I, I think I came here four times total and sat down with the homeowner at his kitchen table 
and we just talked this out step by step, making sure it was the next right move for him. Yeah, and you know, financing is available when you when you buy a new roof. It can be expensive. We get it. Your prices are great, obviously, but a roof is going to be expensive no matter what. You've made it easy to get a new roof. We sure have. We have uh, payment plans. We have flexible financing. We have all kinds of avenues we can go down with you to make sure you're getting the the best interest rates and the most flexible monthly payment, just to make sure you're not being put in the position you don't want to be in. Yeah, and it's hurricane season now. Literally, hurricane season is, is coming right up. If you have a leaky roof, your roof is aging, Universal Roof and Contracting will come out and see you totally free of charge. Literally get on your roof and see what is going on, things that maybe you cannot see and it costs you nothing. QR code is on the screen or call the phone number as well. And that's what you do that is different. You do come out, you sit with the homeowner and really evaluate what's going on. Yeah, I mean, these satellite estimates, that's garbage. Which is what everybody's doing, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's complete garbage. For instance, on this house, you know, I noticed that there was some bad stucco. You can't see that from a satellite. So we knew to be prepared and to paint that expectation up front for the homeowner and being general contractors, we knew that we could, you know, figure that out and, and, and fix it all in one big swoop. Trustworthy as well. Universal's been around a long time. 31 years, man. We're not going anywhere. We're deeply rooted in this area, and that's uh, we've built our entire reputation on honesty, integrity, and uh, nothing's going to change moving forward. I'm happy to be out here at a real job site with you, but I've already seen you in action. You know you did my roof as well and did a great job, and, and again, it wasn't just the roof. There were other things involved as well. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you, man. As always, Appreciate good to it. see you. Do yourself a favor right now. Check out Universal Roof and Contracting today. We've been talking a little bit about the market shifting, I think maybe more towards the buyers, but I think the location that you're in also is dictating that real estate market. I don't think we can talk about Florida in general. I think you almost have to look at locations within Florida because they can be a little bit different. And when we talk about Ocala, Marion County, really all of that northern Florida area, there's no one else I'd rather talk to about it than Lewis and Alicia Lopez, Ocala Realty World. Welcome back to the show. How are you? Thank you for having us. What is going on in the market in Ocala when it comes to, to buyer versus seller? Are we shifting back to the buyer? What are you seeing? It's crazy. Yeah. Like the last month and a half, it's just been nonstop with, I think buyers are finally realizing uh, that rates are, might go up, they might go down, it doesn't matter, but they got to do something. A right. lot of buyers have been renting it on a month to month and like the time's up, so they don't have a choice. Right. And sellers also waiting on something and they realize, okay, I got to move out my plan. So we're seeing a lot more inventory and a lot more buyers that are ready to go. I think the market in Ocala is actually a little stronger even than it is in Orlando. That That's the feeling that I get. Lewis, why do you think that is? Well, we have the best prices, yeah. I believe, in the whole central uh, Florida. Yeah. And you can still get a property, three, four, five bedroom, probably about anywhere between 33 to 40% cheaper than Orlando. Most definitely. And many other places, yeah. As the rates go up, a lot of us are getting priced out of this market, and you have to look in other places, and, and what a more beautiful place could you find than Ocala? In fact, I'm gonna put a QR code on the screen right now, because if you're looking at buying a property, look no further than Marion County, or even if you're living in Marion County now and you wanna sell it, uh, QR code on the screen right now because you need if you're gonna sell your house The first thing you need to do is figure out what your house is worth and Zillow is just not sufficient for that These two people can tell you what your house is worth and what you can expect to sell it for But again if you live in the Orlando area and you want to buy a home because you're renting here You could afford to buy in Ocala or if you're looking at investing in real estate that Marion County Levy County that whole area is exploding for investments. Where do you see the market in Marion, Levy County going throughout the next rest of the year? I, I think it's just going to keep going strong for yeah. sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't disagree at all. Now we're also seeing a lot of people from who, who have moved to Florida from, from Spanish speaking countries or, or even coming from Miami. A lot of the Spanish speaking people I'm seeing are heading to Ocala as well. Yeah. Lewis. Why, yeah. why do you think that is? Well, every time you go to like Publix, Walmart, any grocery store or regular store, you you can I can pick them from a mile away. Everybody's speaking Spanish already, so um, it's coming. It's already there. Yeah. As a real estate agent, when you uh, you speak English and Spanish, of course, right. how does that help you when you're dealing with someone who might be investing from another country? Well, first of all, you gotta know the market. Yeah. In order, in, once you know the market, then you can guide anybody that either they're buying new construction, a resale, or a property for investment for tomorrow. Right. 
But I think that, obviously, when they call and they see Lopez, they're like, oh, okay, they speak my language. Right. And I, it's almost 50% of the buyers moving to Marion County are Hispanic. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And so if wow. it's like any nationality, like you want, you feel more comfortable with your people. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a huge benefit for you too. Obviously, mm -hmm. being able to speak English and Spanish, there. I think just being able to communicate the most important yeah. transaction of your life with mm -hmm. the person who's representing you is very important. It is, yeah. no it question is. about it. They so, feel comfortable. They okay. feel like, hey, you know, you one of us, and you can guide us the right way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so we talk about Ocala a lot in Marion County, but I told you I drove through Weeby County mm -hmm. the other day, and a lot of people who are watching this show right now have never heard of Weeby County because I don't think I had until you mentioned it. There's so many investment opportunities, whether it's land, whether it's uh, houses, going on in Levy County as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you don't know where, where the next builder is gonna pop up. So it's just a matter of time where uh, if you have 20, 30, 40 acres, a builder's gonna knock on your door and say, hey, tell me a price and I, I write you a check right. Mm -hmm. right here, right then and there. Even individual lots, like quarter acre, half an acre, to buy three thousand dollars for a quarter acre, right. and just sit on it in ten years, like no matter what, it's, yeah. it's going increase, to go yeah. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you see as the future of Levy County? What's moving that way? What do you Us. think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. In between. Well, a lot of the old timers that they were living forever in Ocala, actually they're moving up. Really? It's getting too crowded for them. Yeah. <laughs> so Levy County is going to be most likely going to be the next boom. Maybe. Because yeah. in between Gainesville You're and right. County, so it's just, there's no other way to go but right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. investing in real estate. You don't know exactly what to do. I'm telling you, you need to call Ocala Realty World or take out your phone, all right? And hit that QR code. They can send you listings as they come on the market. They have listings that might not be on the market yet. But again, if you're looking at selling your house anywhere up in the northern Florida area, the villages, these two are fantastic at it, I assure you that. Uh, we've been talking about visiting. I, I don't know when, did, you gotta get with Michaela. We have to yes. get back up there because yes. I haven't been to Ocala in a little while. Mm -hmm. You promise we'll get with her? I wanna have a party. You do the best doing. parties. Yeah. If it's a party, call me. <laughs> yeah, I get it going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always have mimosas and good good snacks. Gluten-free yeah. snacks, I might add, right? That's important, for sure. Oh yes. my gosh. It benefits everybody, even if you don't have to be gluten-free. It's still good for you. Yeah, so we talked a little bit earlier on the show about buyers now mm -hmm. in August are gonna have to sign a, an agreement with their agent. Mm -hmm. How do you see this affecting things, if at all? I mean, there's nothing wrong with transparency and disclosure. Mm -hmm. So I just think that brokerages and realtors that don't like to do things the way they're supposed to be done mm -hmm. are going to have an issue with it because it's a change. But if you're flexible, like you should be in this business, sure. everybody's going to be fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the buyer knowing what's going on. They know anyway, especially yeah. when they see the closing statement. So why not just say it in the beginning instead of the end? What do you think, Louis? I think it's going to be awesome because it's going to take a lot of the realtors that they just uh, double into the business yeah. and the service is horrible. <clears throat> so they can break the contract and go with somebody they have experience that's going to deliver what they promise. I agree. I think it's great for the business. Yeah. And I do, I do sense maybe some part-time agents maybe moving out of the business right now because it. things have changed when yeah. obviously during COVID real estate was was a little easier, I yeah. guess. Louis, Alicia Lopez, thank you as always. Wonderful to see you. I'll see you Same in Ocala here. soon. Give them a call, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Investing in real estate, selling real estate, anywhere in that northern Florida area, they are fantastic. Thank you to our amazing crew. Most importantly, thank you. See you again next week for more You Have Real Estate. The proceeding was a paid advertisement. The views expressed were the sole responsibility of the advertiser.